Good morning, St. Thomas More. It's Spirit Day! That's right, flashing a little gold, a little black, a little con. Back in the day, this is what we used to wear as well, in the day, long before you were born. Anyway, I digress. Hey, Friday is almost here, and I need to challenge you. Everybody gets to buy a ticket now to the girls' senior basketball game because the tournament kicks off Friday morning. You're gonna miss a portion of first period, a portion of second period, not a selling feature. <laughs> However, the most important thing, the challenge to you is, I attended a game played by another senior team in this city and the gym was packed, absolutely packed. And that is what we expect of you. The band is going to be there. The cheerleaders are going to be there. Some parents are going to be there. All of you must be there to cheer our senior girls basketball team on in an incredible 25th anniversary of this tournament. Go to School Cash Online. Tickets are only two bucks. You cannot buy them on Friday. So you have today and you have tomorrow and that is it. Bring your spirit, bring your two bucks. Let's do this, St. Thomas More. Happy Spirit Day! ASTM, there will be an open discussion meeting in the lecture hall for the United Against Racism Committee today after school on the importance of representation. See you there. Hey STM, I'm Hannah from your H4H executive team. Just a reminder that signups are closing this Friday. If you have any questions or would like to know more about what we do, Halloween for Hunger members will be in the cafeteria during periods two, three, and four throughout the week. We're posted beside the servery, so feel free to stop by. Also a reminder to all planning committee members, recruiting, sponsorships, and maps. There will be a meeting tomorrow in the library after school. See you there. Lastly, don't forget to follow us both on Instagram and Twitter at STM underscore H4H for more information and updates. Thanks, STM. Good morning, STM. My name is Delina. And my name is Terry, and here are your announcements for today. Attention to all boys in grades 9 and 10 interested in playing junior and novice boys basketball. You must attend a very important meeting after school Thursday in the health room across from the gym. If you are a member of the junior boys football team and are interested in trying out, you can sign up outside room 206. Members of the football team will not have to attend the meeting. This message is for all girls interested in playing for and training with the senior girls soccer team. There will be a meeting tomorrow, Thursday, October 13th, right after school, in room 243. If you can't make it, go see Mr. Carboni in room 138 before the start of period 4. Could the following students see Mr. Marlin today in room 126? Nasrin Ahmed, Aya Radney, Alexa Bello, Quandil Abbasi. Again, please see Mr. Marlin in room 126 sometime today. There will be a yearbook committee meeting in room 155 after school for all members. New members are welcome. Attention swimmers, this is a reminder for all prospective swim team athletes to submit your forms to room 316 period one and pay the swim fee via school cash online. Forms and payment are due this Friday, October 14th at the absolute latest as the team is being finalized. A reminder to all wrestlers, practice starts today after school in the cafeteria. Please drop your form off to room 310 sometime today. And now for your sports. Last night in senior girls basketball action, your Lady Knights took on the Titans from BT. The girls jumped out to an early lead and never looked back, defeating the Titans by a final score of 59 to 27. The Knights were led by Grace Amendolia with a 20 point performance and Melania Bozzo and Izzy Morrow each chipping in with 10 points apiece. Great work ladies. The senior boys football team defeated the St. John de Brebeuf Braves last Friday. The boys came out flying with a touchdown pass on the very first play of the game, caught by Jeremy Lemieux from Ethan Wimola Jam. Lemieux would catch a second touchdown pass as well as Jeremiah Washington and two rushing touchdowns by Jack Stewart and Gavin Robertson. The defense was led by O.J. Salmon, Billy Hayes, Julian Butera, and a first career interception by Anthony Benjamin. The senior Knights renewed their rivalry with the team from the Creek this Friday afternoon at 1 o'clock. The team is reminded of their film sessions on lunch and practice after school. Thanks, Thanks STM. STM. 
Good morning, Knights. I'm Grace. I'm Melania, and here are your announcements for today. Thank you so much to all the Period 1 classes who participated in the Thanksgiving food drive, and thank you to the ones who didn't have a Period 1 class but still participated. Now for your winners. In second place, we have Miss Newberry. Can we get a round of applause for Miss Newberry? <laughs> and in first place, we have, drum roll please, Miss Serenko. Congratulations, they will both receive a prize. And an honorable mention goes out to Miss Antonucci and Mr. Stratford's classes. Now for your spirit wear. The STM hoodies are now in and ready for pickup. Come to the cafeteria with proof of purchase at the beginning of your lunch period to receive your order. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok at STM underscore council for the latest updates. Thanks STM, have a great day. There's one more additional announcement. Last night, our senior boys volleyball team played Bishop Tonus. The boys were successful and beat BT three sets to none. Way to go boys. Practice today after school. STM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 8.22. Have a great day.